Serious. What's your real ghost story? Attention. Serious. Tag notice. Jokes. Puns. And off topic comments are not permitted in any comment, parent or child. Parent comments that aren't from the target group will be removed, along with their child replies. Report comments that violate these rules. Posts that have few relevant answers within the first hour, and posts that are not appropriate for the serious tag will be removed. Consider doing an AMA request instead. Thanks for your cooperation and enjoy the discussion. I am a bot, and this action was performed automatically. Please contact the moderators of this subreddit if you have any questions or concerns. When I was around 5, my aunt got diagnosed with cancer so my mom left me at my dad's for over a month to be able to care for her 24-7. One night, I woke up crying and asking if my mom came with my aunt. When my family questioned me, I said my aunt came to say goodbye and that she loves me and will take care of me but did my mom come with her? I miss my aunt 5 minutes later the phone rang and it was my mom telling us my aunt had just passed. I was 19 driving home from my then BF house and stopped at a red light on the very edge of town, like city lights behind me but cornfields and shelter belts ahead of me, because it's like 2 in the morning I'm the only one sitting at the red light. I saw something moving in my peripherals and because of my location I thought it was gonna be a deer. I turned my head and locked eyes with a man maybe in his 50s creeping towards my car. When he saw that I saw him he froze and it was then then that I noticed he had a tire iron. I ran the red light and sped out of there. I was driving to work, chatting on the phone with my wife to pass the time, 6-8 hour drive out to the base from our home and ahead of me was somebody riding a motorcycle. The road we were on was generally straight, Mojave Desert, but had some unpredictable curves because of the road loosely following a broad wash, lake bed. Like we've discussed, Mojave's desert, the person ahead of me was going between 70 to 90 miles per hour and seemed generally familiar with the road. But. Then they just sailed straight over the edge of a 45 miles per hour curve going about 80. I made some reactive, disgusted sound, and hung up with my wife. I immediately pulled over, called 911 and put them in my pocket, got my trauma kit, and put on gloves. I was talking to the dispatcher and explaining what had happened when I step over the bank and see. To my surprise, not a crumpled body in the sage, but a young guy, mid-twenties, picking himself up off the ground about 75 feet ahead of me and 15 feet below. He'd been launched from the motorcycle which was in terrible shape about 30 feet from him. I told him to stay still and went through a quick evaluation. He was basically fine, but super rattled, ended up having a broken collarbone and a mild concussion. Anyway. It's not a ghost story, but I was absolutely certain I'd just seen a person die, and was completely shocked to find him in fine form if a little shaken up. A bit of background, I'm a truck driver, specifically doing shuttle runs for a factory in my city. I run loaded trailers from the factory downtown to a warehouse 20 miles away, where I drop my loaded trailer, exchange it for an empty and take it straight back to the factory. I run this route seven eight times a night, I'm told it's a diamond in the rough as far as trucking jobs go. Anyway, my route has me cross this rather precarious highway bridge on the return trip. The bridge is only two lanes wide with no shoulder. The speed limit on the highway is 70 miles an hour, but this bridge has a steep drop and a sharp curve down to surface level. So the recommended speed to take this curve is 45. A few months ago, around 2 a.m. on a Wednesday, I was in the process of rounding this curve when a car was blocking the bridge, and I nearly plowed right into it. The car didn't lose control or smash into anything, there weren't any tire tracks on the pavement, and the car didn't have any damage. Said car was a brand new Mercedes SUV with dealer tags, so it probably wasn't broken down. 
and nobody was in the car, whoever was driving must have just decided to come to a complete stop in the middle of this practically blind corner, get out of his car, and walk away. The car couldn't have been there for longer than 20 minutes or so. It wasn't there when I drove past that bridge in the other direction. I didn't see anyone walking along the highway, either. I have no idea what was going on with the car. When I unclenched my seat out of my asshole a minute later, I called the cops to get that car and I never heard anything about it afterward. Getting a feeling that I needed to turn my brights on in a dark spot in the middle of town, and there ended up being four deer just chilling in the road that I wouldn't have seen until I was much closer. When I was 16 I had a junky convertible 1989 Capri. I loved that car. One night I was driving the back roads home out in the middle of nowhere Missouri, top down, enjoying the night there. I dove under some low hanging trees and heard a weird slap noise from the back seat. Turned around to see a huge black snake frantically slithering towards the safety of under my seat. I nearly wrecked. I hate snakes and even though this rat snake was 100% harmless I was panicked, pulled over screaming and called my dad to come to snake my car. I never rode with the top down in the country again. I once saw something late at night in the headlights on a dark country road which was sandy colored, about the size of a small cat with about 20 feet of tail following it, running really quickly, real WTF stuff. Some 30 years pass, and then I find out on Reddit what it was. Someone posted a video of a pale rat with lots of smaller rats all holding on to each other's tails and running like that. When driving at night, what is the scariest thing you've ever seen? Huge truck with no lights and all reflectors covered with mud, stalled in a shadowed patch of darkness totally blocking the right lane of a lonely country highway with no shoulders. A wall of invisible steel waiting to kill some less observant motorist. My mom told me this story. She was in the car with my sister who was driving and they were on their way back from some event. The street lights on this particular stretch of road weren't working very well and it was difficult to see. My sister is chatting away and my mom is watching the road when all of a sudden she sees in front of the car bike crack, complete with bikes on it that looked as if it had just dropped off the back of someone's car and they didn't notice. She screams bikes at the top of her lungs, my sister swerves, overcorrects, spins, and then comes to a stop on the other side of the road facing the opposite direction, miraculously avoiding all the cars that were going by. A few cars stop to make sure they're okay. My sister looks at my mom and asks her how she even saw the bikes because she didn't see them until they were almost about to hit them. My mom said she saw them and it looked like they were illuminated by a gentle blue light. But they looked back and those bikes were just sitting in the darkness. Creepy. I was working a night shift and rode a moped to work. The headlight was fairly dim but on the way home I saw what I can only describe as what looked like. Black pants, floating slowly just overhead but making a walking motion as they passed. I got a good look and I still can't make heads or tails of what it actually was and I sure as fuck wasn't going back to double check. My brother and I were driving down a super remote road late at night many years ago. Well life was common so we drove slower than was posted. An accident could be fatal on this road. Anyway, it was a particularly dark night so we had the high beams on and were really concentrating on the journey. We saw it at the same time. It was impossible to miss. My brother hit the brakes and we skidded to a stop in front of the biggest fucking cow on earth. We could have driven under it with room to spare. It was massive, and it stared at us without seeming to see us. The vibe was so creepy. Other cows were around but they were regular sized. This guy was the king of all bovine. It doesn't seem all that weird when telling the story but something was just off with this creature. It didn't seem quite dot 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 natural. My mom tells this story about when she was young and her mom was driving home from shopping. The car they were in broke down, 
and in the car behind them a guy gets out and offers to help and fix it there at the side of the road. Thing is, after they were done fixing the car, I think she says they ran out of oil or something like that, the gay, and his car, just disappeared, gone, nada, didn't see him get in the car and leave, just one moment he and his car were there, and then next they were gone, while the story isn't particularly scary, but my grandmother was petrified, and they drove quietly all the way home. I haven't seen any comments mention it yet but I fully expect someone will, if you see a deer on the road that isn't quite right. In some way or another, it's probably chronic wasting disease, it's a form of transmissible spongiform encephalopathy, prion disease, that often presents in ways like the deer is rotting while still alive, this can mean a lot of things, like deer with weird postures, pieces falling off of them, etc so in the dark at night it can look really freaky like a monster that is trying to look like a deer but didn't quite get it down i've heard several i saw a monster on the side of this mountain road one night stories that were almost certainly a deer with progressed chronic wasting disease it's very sad but also quite fascinating if it wouldn't gross you out to read about four years ago i'm driving across the colorado New Mexico border at around 4 a.m. and I'm looking for a place to stop for fuel. I happened along the smallest and saddest little farm town with only one tiny gas station. I hadn't seen another car for hours, it's freezing cold, and it felt like this town was abandoned it was that quiet. Honestly it was kind of cool except for the cold. I'm pumping away feeling like I'm completely alone until I notice another car in the shadows near the back of the building, flashy black lowrider with completely tinted windows and four right out of a Mexican gangster movie looking guys leaning against it. I remember laughing because one, they startled the hell out me and two, they were wearing the black shorts, wife beater tank tops and the knee high socks. Remember it was freezing cold, it was the middle of nowhere, and they looked so casual, without a word. All four got off the car and walked straight towards me until I could see the full sleeves and face tattoos under the pump lights, dropped the gas pump, fired up the motor and did the greatest 0-100 that old girl had ever seen. Not 20 seconds after burning out onto the highway, I see headlights swerve out and follow me. Little did they know, my beat up looking Dodge truck had the Hemi motor and a couple of upgrades. They never had a chance and after a few miles their headlights disappeared in my rear view mirror. I didn't think much of it, and even laughed at how bad I outran them till a cop buddy told me about the Mexican cartels running drugs through there to avoid the interstate. I wasn't laughing anymore. I used to date this girl who lived in a house in the middle of the woods and her driveway was like a mile long single car road. I was driving up at around midnight to go home and my driver's side window exploded and showered me with glass. Turns out a deer had rammed into the driver's side of my car, completely destroyed that side and I had to get out of the passenger's side. I never even saw the deer. I assume it ran away but there was a perfect hoof print in one of the doors at it, spelling. I've got two. First, I was driving home from visiting family late at night. I was on a two-lane highway in the middle of nowhere, farms all around and spotty cell phone reception. If you didn't have headlights on, you couldn't see anything. My radio started cutting out and my headlights started getting dimmer all of a sudden. I turned the radio off and was just listening to the silence as my headlights were getting worse and worse, when all of a sudden, I hit a huge bump in the road. My radio came back on loud and my headlights were at full brightness. It was the weirdest car thing I have ever dealt with, but I would have been screwed if I'd broken down out there. Second driving home from a friend's house in the city at 2 a.m. As I'm coming around a corner I see this creature crawling along the road. It was definitely larger than a raccoon, but smaller than a medium-sized dog. It was moving slowly and sort of wobbled as it walked. I slowed down because I wanted to see what on earth it was. As I get up alongside it, 
It scurries directly toward my car and I stepped on the gas. I looked in my rear view mirror and nothing was there. Still not sure what it was. A driver drove past me by my right side. I was driving in a single lane street next to a cliff on my right and a mountain. No road. To the left, I slammed my brakes and let it sit for some minutes before driving again. To this day I'm not sure of what I saw. So this shit still gives me chills to this day. Me and a few of my friends in college went on a hike my freshman year. We had a few tokes by the river and started heading back to the car. It was starting to get dark out so we turned our phone flashlights on for the last 5 or so minutes of the trek. We all piled in my 01 Civic, there were 6 of us and I switched the key and turned on the headlights. I shit you not about 30 or so feet in front of the car, just within the tree line stood a 40 or so year old man butt ass naked. He stared at the car with zero fucks and just stood there. I don't know what the fuck he was doing or why he was there but I'll never forget that is this real moment we all had. We all think he must have been high on something or he was just a wild dude lurking in the shadows. He straight up looked like Tom Hanks and cast away. Driving on one of the reservations in New Mexico and came across a car completely stopped in the left lane. We slow down to pass the car and see the victim of a hit and run in the road in front of the stopped car. It wasn't them. They stopped when they came across the body. We pulled over. My dad and husband got out to see if they could do anything. Unfortunately he was long gone and others had called the police. We didn't witness the accident and couldn't help so we left so that we wouldn't be in the way. The worst was that we still had a few hours left of driving that night. It was super foggy and I was terrified someone was going to jump out into the road from out of the fog. It was in the dead of the winter and in the middle of night a girl was dancing around on the highway. I almost hit her because it was snowing but I managed swerve. So I got worried and turned around on the next tramp and when driving back she had just disappeared. I was probably just sleep deprived but it felt so real. It wasn't exactly something I saw, but some point halfway through my drive home, at about 8.30ish at night, the guy started following me. It couldn't have been for very long, because I didn't notice he was there until I pulled into my driveway and he parked there at the entrance, got out, hiking his horn and screaming some sort of nonsense, bunch of shit like we fucking know where you live, fuck you, over and over again and not saying anything about why he had followed me, fucking terrified me, worst thing, Happened two days ago, still have no idea why or who it was. Been staying at my mom's BC if some random angry man knows where I live then for the time being I don't live there. Scariest thing was this dude who was hitchhiking except something was strange about him. He wore his hoodie down when it wasn't raining. It was actually a hot humid night in Alabama, and also his other arm was behind his back. When I passed him by I looked on my rear view mirror and saw behind his back was a shotgun. Maybe not scary but I was driving home in the middle of the night years back and a meteorite came into sight and lit the entire sky up like it was daytime for a few seconds. Pretty crazy to see and it had landed a few hours away from where I was. The scariest thing I've seen was another driver try and drive straight through a roundabout and hit the sign that said roundabout. It didn't compute at first, very surreal. I'm going to preface by saying we were all on acid but dot 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 an old lady wearing all white walking down a very wooded road with a very old cemetery nearby dot 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 I thought I hallucinated it till someone else in the car asked if we saw it too. All four of us saw it, the old lady was so out of place and we literally spent the whole night driving up and down that one road never seeing her until it seemed like she appeared out of nowhere. My grandmother coming to me in a dream to tell me she died. I was in China at the time. When I called home my family and girlfriend lied about it. The next night I had the same dream and called home to check in. 
but they lied again. I finally got my girlfriend to admit it. The dream stopped. When I got home, I was told that the last thing my grandmother said was to ask for me by name. 